I've been watching this new TV series um, out now on Apple. I'm not too sure if you guys have seen it or if you care. It's called Hijack, starring Idris Elba. And it's interesting because I feel like Idris is not at the age yet to be making series or movies like this. You know, well, it's like a series, but you know, whatever. Um, you'd think that he's, you know, there's a little bit more time left in his flipping heyday at the top of his game before he starts making these type of derivative sort of TV series that you people usually make towards the end of their career when they're just trying to stack up the paper. They don't really care too tough. Um, and they just want to, you know, make some money and shit. But I have to be honest, it's pretty decent. The premise around it is pretty self-explanatory. Um, Idris Elba um, stars as this very mysterious um, character. You're not too sure if he's in law enforcement. You're not too sure if he's in a secret service. Um, he's kind of covering the show is that he works as a sort of like a fixer type person, I think, or something towards that. Where he, can, I think, no, I think, no, he works as a person who comes in and essentially um, helps to sort out companies when they're going through um, bankruptcy when they have to file those people he's the kind of person they kind of get in to make sure everybody is calm and chilled and doesn't basically shoot the place up that's kind of his cover um and he's divorced from his wife um they have a really nice apartment or house somewhere in london that looks really good clearly could they come from money so you're not really too sure if that's the cover story is real and obviously he travels a lot which may have led to the divorce of his wife you're not really too sure don't really say too much about it but essentially he's on a plane going back to his wife who has now moved on. He doesn't want to accept that she's moved on, even though they're divorced. And in the process of that flight, the plane gets hijacked. And um, the premise behind it is basically him trying to figure out a way that he gets back home without, you know, basically anything tr crazy going on and trying to basically befriend the hijackers and shit or whatever, maybe. I'm not going to spoil much of it else, but it's a pretty decent show. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, I'm very basic b-i-t-c-h when it comes to my tv shows and movies in some regard some of the genres of things that i'm interested in some of the things that i like overall most people probably won't really give a crap about i get that obviously idris being the actor he is he really sells this um he's a big part of why this does really well because he's just gives such a great performance like he can do these type of things in his sleep pretty sure so that pretty much works really well for him but i do recommend it if you have struggled for stuff to watch like i always say this before my thing is this, right? I know some of you kind of, you know, will scoff at this, but I feel like a lot of us waste our time, myself included. I waste a lot of my time watching and doing things that I probably shouldn't be doing. And there is a real lack of good programming content out there, myself included. There's a real lack of it, right? This is why I'm here, right? So because of that, there, I think the bar of like good content is really low. So for you to be deemed as good content in my eyes, all you have to do is pass a certain threshold. If you're good enough to watch on a casual Saturday afternoon, on a casual Sunday evening, on a casual weekday, we've got nothing else to watch, and I am not kind of like drawn to immediately grab my phone, I'm not drawn to immediately open a new tab, then you've won. You're a successful show in my regard because that's usually my barometer or my gauge of if a show is good or not. Did I go straight to my phone because I'm bored? Did I go straight to social media? Did I open a new tab? Am I now listening to something else? That usually tells me everything I need to know about how good or bad a show is. So I feel like this show has done pretty, pretty, pretty well in terms of providing um, a decent kind of who done it. Are they going to figure out who's uh, what they're after? Will the plane land safely? Backstory, blah, blah, blah. There's a there's a few naff pieces here and there about who's the person that eventually rumbles it and finds out from air traffic control what's going on. It's a little bit, you know, cliche, a little bit girl bossy. But that aside, it's a really good show. And I really reckon you watch it. The only thing I'd say is a little bit concerning for me. And it's just my kind of macabre, wanting ultra realistic depictions of stuff. And maybe because I'm a fan of series like Gomorrah and how they, you know, really, really accurately, I feel like described and, you know, displayed how it is to work within the drug trade, especially in the kind of quote unquote modern era. There is a real lack of deaths in Hijack. That's the only thing I'd say as a slight kind of like, you know, negative on the show. There's a real lack of deaths. Not enough people are dying on this show. Um, that needs to be kind of upped a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. But apart from that, 
I like it. I enjoy it. Check it out. Available on Apple TV and all the other places where you kind of check out shows and whatnot. But I have definitely, definitely enjoyed it. Um, what people saying in the chat? Big up everybody in the chat hanging in there. I appreciate you guys. Him and Lufo was really good. I agree. Nanny Day Fiance. Yeah, exactly. Don't. I, I don't have a problem with those shows. I don't personally watch them because I'm just not a fan of reality TV. Um, but I completely understand why people are so enamored with like Nanny Day Fiance, Real Housewife franchise, Vanderpump Rules, Below Deck, Love Island. Because at least you know what you're getting. It doesn't try to like pretend to be anything highfalutin. They're not trying to educate you. They're not trying to tell you something about the world. They're just trying to provide you with unadulterated trash content that's entertaining for like an hour. That's all they want to give you. They don't want to give you anything else. And obviously something to talk about at the walk court. Because some things also you miss with a lot of these good TV series. I've noticed there are some shows that are good, but you don't care about talking about it with your colleagues at work. Like Ozark's a good example. Ozark was pretty decent. But are you really on a coffee, you know, over the flipping water cooler with your colleagues at work or in a pub with your friends really debating about the ins and outs of Ozark? Not really. It's not as good as Sopranos. It's good enough, but it's decent, but it's not good enough to really extend beyond that conversation. So 90 Day Fiance, you know, um, all these things, they do a really good job at providing you with good content that does exactly what it says in the tin. It's not trying to be highbrow or anything. And it also gives you something to talk about with your friends, which is really important. And talk about on social media. Um, uh, big up Hasib. Hasib also said there's no good content. Um, I go, but when you go live, we're all here. Yeah, big up Hasib. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, no, to be fair, look, I'm, I'm just providing my service that I provide online. And I've said this from the beginning. Um, I kind of like compare it to how I enjoy other contents online, other bits of content online. I want to be the best kind of person who provides, you know, I want to be the best background content provider in the world. That's all I want, really, and truly. Because I don't feel like I really, you know, I'm not Joe Rogan out here. I don't deserve your undivided three-hour attention talking about fucking world issues. I'm not that guy. But I'm going to give you a decent enough show for a couple of hours that you can stick on in the background while you do your little chores around the house, while you walk your dog, while you jack off, while you play video games, whatever. Do you know what I mean? That's all I want to do. And if I can do that, I'm fine. But I'm also, you know, very aware that overall content isn't that great so when i'm recommending shows i don't want to sell you down a river and tell you oh this thing is as good as breaking bad this thing is as good as sopranos and shit no 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 no. it's good it's to watch enough but don't like you know judge it on those sort of barometers or those sort of levels that's basically it in my humble opinion but again hey what do i know what do i know 